Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ani de Guzman. And our topic for today is Illustrating and Solving Combination for Grade 10, Quarter 3. So combinations of a subset of a larger set of objects refer to the number of ways we can choose item in any order. Remember that order is not important for combination. To illustrate combination, consider the number of ways a reader can choose three books from four different books. Unlike positioning books on library shelf, order does not matter here. Choosing books A, B, and C is the same as choosing books B, A, and C, and so on. So let's have the table. So we have the combination of three books from four different books. So we have here A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D, and B, C, D. So meaning to say we have only four combinations. On the other hand, the permutations of three books were in uh, arrangement of books are important. So we have the following A, B, C, A, C, B, B, C, A, B, A, C, C, A, B, C, B, A. Then we have A, B, D, A, D, B, B, D, A, B, A, D, D, B, A, D, A, D. Then on the third um, row, we have A, C, D, A, D, C, C, D, A, C, A, D, B, C, A, D, A, C. On the fourth row, we have B, C, D, B, D, C, C, D, B, C, B, D, uh, D, C, B, as well as D, B, C. So it means we have four, uh, 24 permutations. Having said on the our combinations of three books from different books, we have only four combinations, where the permutations of three books, we have 24 permutations. So when order matters, there are a okay, P, 4, 3, meaning to say out of four books, we will consider three books at a time or 24 ways to choose three books from four different books. There are three factorial or six ways to choose the same three books. So the number of combination is... 24 divided by 3 factorial is equal to 4. In general, R objects can be chosen from N different objects in P and of R ways. And R objects can be arranged in R factorial ways. So the number of combinations of N different objects taken R at a time is, okay, C N of R is equal to that is the permutation of n of r all over r factorial such that if we will substitute the pn p n of r that is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial so having said that we have the c n of r that is the combination of n taken r at a time so this is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial to summarize the definition of combination, we have the number of combinations of n distinct objects taken r at a time is, okay, the combination of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial, where n is greater than or equal to r, but r is greater than or equal to 0. So we have the combination of n taken r at a time can be rewritten as ncr or okay nr so let's have example number one so evaluate c by taken two at a time so again we will use the formula such that the value of n is equal to 5 and r is equal to 2 so we have c n r so this is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial so substitute the value of n and r respectively. So we have 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial all over 2 factorial. So we have 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Now we can expand 5 factorial as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On the other hand, 3 factorial can be rewritten as 3 times 2 times 1 and 2 factorial can be rewritten as 2 times 1. Then I can factor out, okay, here 3 and 3, 2 and 2, as well as 4 and 2, and 1 and 1. So what I have in 
only is 5 times 2. So we have 5 times 2, this is equal to 10. So therefore, the value of C5, 2 taken at a time, so this is equal to 10. Let's consider problem number 2. In how many ways can a committee consist of 4 members be formed from 8 people? So from this one, 4 members out of A can be selected in C, 8 taken for at a time. So therefore, the total number of ways is uh, for C, N, R is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial times R factorial. Such that our N is equal to 8 and our R is equal to 4. Substitute that. So we have here. 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. So if we will expand this or simplify this one further, so we have 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Again, if we would like to expand 8 factorial as well as 4 factorial, we have the following. Take note that I can factor out similar terms. So I can have here factor out here 4 and 4 as well as 3, 3, 2, and 2, 2. Also, I can factor out, okay, 3 and 6. So, this is will give us 2. However, I can factor out 2 and 2 also. What else? We have here, 8 and 4 is divisible by 4, so we have here 2. So, therefore, we can say here that we have 2, times 7 times 5 or this is the same as 70 ways all right so let's move on to problem number three so a number consists of four girls and seven boys in how many ways can a team of five members be selected if the team has no girls so since the team will not include any girls or therefore only boys are to be selected so five boys out of seven boys can be selected in C, 7, 5 at a time ways. Therefore, the required number of ways is, actually, we will use the formula such that our N is equal to 7 and our R is equal to 5. So, substitute that one. So, we have 7 factorial or all over. 7 minus 5 factorial, okay, 5 factorial. So, simplify this one. So, we have 7 factorial all over 2 factorial times 5 factorial. But if we will expand 7 factorial as well as 2 factorial and 5 factorial respectively, so we have the following, okay? So here 7 times 6 times 5 until 1. For the 2 factorial, we have 2 times 1, well, 5, uh, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So I can factor this one already, 5, 5, 4, 4. Okay, 3, 2, 2, 1, and 1. On the other hand, I can factor out 2 and 6. Since they are divisible by 2, so 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. And 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. So, we have only 7 times 3. Okay, so 7 times 3 is equal to 21. So, therefore, we have 21 ways consider problem number four so we have a group consists of four girls and seven boys in how many ways can a team of five members be selected if the team has three boys and two girls so since three boys and two girls are to be in a team three boys can be selected in seven out of seven boys we will select three boys at a time ways two girls can be selected out of four girls we will select two girls at a time so therefore, the required number of ways is equal to, that is C, 7 boys, and we will consider 3 at a time. So we have here, so C, 7, 3. While for the ladies or girls, we have out of 4 girls, we will take 2 girls at a time. So we can simplify this one as 7 factorial all over, 7 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial, such that we have 7 boys. And we will take three boys at a time. For the ladies or for the girls, we have four factorial or four girls at a time. And we will two, uh, take two times or two girls at a time. So we have four minus two factorial all over two factorial. 
So if we will simplify this, we have 7 factorial all over 4 factorial times 3 factorial times 4 factorial all over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So if we will expand this expression, so we can have here 7 times 6 times 5 until 1, then we have 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On the other hand, 4 factorial again is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, while 2 factorial is 2 times 1. However, I can factor out the common factors. So let's begin. So I can factor out here, guys. Okay, uh, 2 and 2 first. What else? I can factor out here 3, 3, 2, 2, and 2 since there are common factors. What else? I can factor out here 4 and 4. And I have here, guys, okay, 6 and 3 is divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3 will give us 2. Okay. All right. Next, 4 and 2 is divisible by 2. So 4 divided by 2 will give us, okay, 2 is 1. However, 2 and 2 is divisible. So, just write 1 here. So, therefore, what we have here is actually 7 times 2 times 5 times 3. Okay, so we have 7 times 5 times 2 times 3. Or this is the same as 210 ways. So, that ends our topic on the combination. So, again, this is Teacher on Indigisman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you so much.